Um, my biggest challenge is probably the male to female ratio. Um, I definitely think that there's more females, so it's hard to find a quality guy that, you know, out of what's available, it's hard to find just because there's not as many. <laughs> because they have so many choices, they, they don't know what they want. They always feel like there's something better, so um, that would definitely be my biggest issue. They like you in the beginning, but then they're always thinking about what's around. <laughs> the biggest challenge to date in Atlanta for me has been finding a man that I think is quality, that has standards. Dating in Atlanta is different. I've, I've been to a lot of other cities and I just feel like people are more engaging. They'll, they'll sit down at a bar and talk to you and really want to get to know you and see if there's any kind of connection here. Everyone's just like, so what do you do? And okay, so what are you doing later tonight? And let's go have food and let's go party and then, you know, I'll text you later. It doesn't seem that real connection that I found in other cities, specifically the north is where I've traveled. So it just, it's just a completely different vibe altogether. Atlanta is it's, it's caught in a big city, but southern atmosphere, and I'm not really sure where it's where it falls. Dating for gay men in Atlanta is the same thing as y'all black women in Atlanta. It's fucking hard, it's strenuous, it's stressful. I've gained so many gray hairs since I've been in Atlanta, you know, <laughs> men in Atlanta. So, it's the same thing at the end of the day. I'm just hopeful. I know the one that's right for me is out there, so in the meantime. I think the biggest challenge of dating in Atlanta would probably be um, finding ambitious guys who are willing to settle down, um, either finding them at a bar, finding them even at the grocery store. Um, I think just meeting people, period, is really difficult. It's one of the biggest challenges. They seem to be very intimidated by me. I don't understand why, but they seem to be intimidated by me. Everyone's just into the party scene. They just want to go out and hang out, and, and I'm past that. That's not really what I want to do anymore. So that's really been difficult to find someone who's willing to sit at home and cook a dinner and just relax and go to friends' homes. My biggest challenge of dating here in the Atlanta area would have to be I think it's all. It's, I think it's mental. I think if you're here in Atlanta, then you know the ratio of men to women. So you might feel like, oh, it's way more women. You know, it's more competition. Or why would he like me over the next woman? I think that's probably the biggest challenge: just getting over maybe a mental fear of the ratio. Right now, I'm looking for a serious relationship, but not marriage. Just someone that I know is serious right off the bat that's looking for the same thing too not just to hang out and have fun and see you later looking for fun and i don't know that i believe in forever anymore maybe i'm, I'm scarred maybe it's been a bad experience and maybe that's what a lot of people are encountering is they're not looking forever or forever and so that's why the dating scene is so populated with that I'm, i don't know I, I want someone kind and nice and engaged in the world and affairs and knowing that the superficiality that exists here isn't what matters in life. That's really hard to find. I'm looking for someone who's willing to go out, have a good time, learn more about one another, um, not necessarily settle down right away. Um, I mean, I'm just getting started in my career and I want to feel like I'm settled too, um, but then definitely someone um, to just explore. Wedding bells on my forehead, but obviously they do, and so they seem to think that I'm looking for marriage and things of that nature. And one day I do want that, but I think they have a problem with commitment. You know that big word, commitment, is an issue. It's always been an issue. Um, when guys actually settle down and understand what it means to love someone and to love God first, they will understand that commitment falls right in that same line. They just keep it. They just keep it. Total commitment, let's do something. What you gonna do? You ain't trying to do nothing. What you gonna do? The problem with a lot of people looking for relationships is that they want a relationship, but they're not ready for one. I mean, they got wounds and stuff that end up true. You know what I mean? So they not, I mean, they not. I've got this real crazy thing to try to, you want me to get a relationship and you walk around sleeping with Tom Dick and Harris? You know what I mean? <laughs> oh my gosh. There goes the man of my dreams. Oh my gosh. I want to have him. You know, it's like, 
Just chill, just have fun. Date several people. <laughs> just I'm serious. Like seriously, you learn about yourself and you have so much fun. Imagine you you meet somebody and you go on a date with him and you go on a date with him again every day of the week. Next thing you know, it's two weeks later. As a woman, sometimes we think that's a relationship. Yeah. You know what I mean? Calling. Right, and it's like get that feeling turned. I think the good places in Atlanta to hang out at are more just festival type events, going with your group of friends. I've never known anyone say, oh, I met her at a bar and we hooked up and then we got married. That just doesn't really work or happen. So if you're looking to get into a really deep, committed relationship, events like maybe the High Museum in, in Atlanta or the Fern Bank, um, and just through your group of friends, I think it's the best place really to meet, to meet people that you want to meet.